Hello and welcome to the 57th tutorial in the Cocos 2D JS version 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at adding a menu image item. We'll be using the source code from the 56th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Cocos 2D JS provides us with all the design functionality for creating menus. In this tutorial we will create a menu image item and add it to our menu which already contains three menu font items from the past couple of tutorials. Let's open up our app.js which contains our current layer and our menu with our menu items. So we have our menu items here. What we're going to do is do var menu item or we're going to call it menu item 4 equals new cc dot menu item image not font because we're doing an image one and we just specify its standard image so we're going to do res dot close normal png and now we specify its clicked image this is a really cool thing that cocos tdjs offers we don't have to manually create a menu item that has a standard image and when we click it it has a different image maybe that's highlighted or darkened or it's bold or it's underlined or whether it's gone bigger or smaller whatever it is you you can do this so this is fantastic so we're going to do res dot close selected underscore png all of these are stuff that was automatically uh, generated and is in the resources so any other images just add it to the resources and you can cr create it like this or use it like this and we can also call a function we're going to do image fun there are other constructors for the menu image items because the, there are constructors that take a disabled menu i mean a, a disabled image as well there's loads of others if you want more information go on the cocos 2d js api guide so what we're going to do is copy and paste this and as we mentioned before let's turn this to a form this is the formula that i came up with we divide the height or the width if you want the width you put it here but we divide the height in this example by the number of items plus one and as we have five now we just i mean we have four we need to change this to a five and naturally we just need to change these two so four three two and this is already one so save this we just need to add our menu item so we'll do menu item four final thing to do is create a function so var image func equals function and then here we're going to do cc.log and we're going to say image item has been pressed now we can save this open up our web browser and we'll just minimize this a second we're just going to go into terminal chain directory to our project directory run the projects of cocos run dash p web okay so we have a menu image item down here so if i right click inspect elements so we can get the console up what we're going to do is click this and as you can see it slightly changes so if you do settings image item image item has been pressed and all the others work as well we'll just close this a second and it's going to click it again so you can see that the image changes and then when I let go it goes back to normal click normal so normal clicked and goes back to normal more information regarding menus and menu items can be found in the Cocos 2D JS API guide there are more menu items than just these two that we've covered but this could give you a good foundation plus the Cocos 2D JS API guide for creating games we have a menu with two menu items in the next tutorial we will cover how Cocos 2D JS handles menu item positioning automatically instead of us doing it like this so stay tuned for that if you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk the email will be in the description you can comment on this video or just directly message us via youtube all the required links or source code will also be in the description and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a wonderful day